recording here. Cool. All right. Lens cap back on, and this one goes in my pocket. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to vlog number four. When I got outside, as you can see by that lovely time lapse that I hope came out decent, I filmed it on uh, an old camera, my Kodak Play Sport, because it's waterproof and I was pretty sure it was gonna rain. Uh, it did start raining, obviously. Now it's raining pretty hard. But we are headed out to the grocery store and I figured I would bring you guys with me and talk about YouTube and also what got me into cars. So it started raining pretty hard. I apologize for any noise that that creates. Hopefully I'll talk a little bit louder and that'll make it all the problems go away. But I got into cars at a really early age. My first word, according to my parents, was wheel, which is pretty funny. And they say at one of my aunt's weddings, I walked around going, dad has wheels, mama's wheels, papa's wheels, and pointing to everybody's cars and naming whose car it was. Um, at that point, I didn't really know models and makes and stuff like that, but I was really young, so what do you expect? And from then on, I had a fascination with construction trucks. Um, I had a whole set of Hot Wheels and stuff like that that were just construction toys, and it was awesome. Uh, we would drive by construction sites on the highway, and my parents would see my neck go, ooh, and I would look at all the trucks, and I could name all of them. It was a good time. And then as I got into middle school, I started getting more into actual cars, you know, like Ferraris and Lamborghinis and stuff like that, all the exotic cars. And I got some posters for my room, and, you know, it just kind of went from there. And as I got into high school, the first few years, I was kind of like, oh yeah, I like cars, but I didn't really know, you know, much about them. And then I found this Facebook forum on cars, and I joined it, and it kind of changed my world. I started realizing that right around me in Massachusetts, there were a bunch of car events all over the place. And it kind of opened my eyes to the fact that there are modified cars out there. There are people out there that like cars like me. And my senior year of high school, I started connecting with a few people. Um, my buddy Rafe actually went to, I think this was summer between junior year and senior year, we went to a Cars and Coffee event for the first time. And shout out to Rafe, because without him I wouldn't have gone. I didn't have, I didn't have the guts to go by myself. I met him and I met my buddies Brian and Palin. Palin has the E36 that you guys have seen on the channel that's currently uh, going to be going a little bit faster come spring. but. I met Rafe and Palin, and they kind of connected me to a couple of my other buddies, Simon and those guys, and we really got into cars. We actually got into cars, and we started, the first thing we did was we put an exhaust on Palin's car. It was the most, like, sketchy, kind of welded in the backyard exhaust that you could do, but we had finally done something to a car, and that kind of started my mod bug. And from then on, I was looking at cars. I had, like I said, I had a 2003 Passat at the time. There's absolutely nothing you can do to that car. Um, so I started looking at cars that are maybe more mod friendly. And if you want to know why I ended up with a GTI, you can go back to vlog number one and figure it out there. But I'll spare you guys that story. And I bought the GTI and we started doing mods on my car, on Palin's car. And I met my friends, you know, Alex and Brandon and all those guys that are super cool. And it's just kind of, it's grown. I built kind of a family of, you know, car people. And uh, I started the Mass VW Audi group and now we have like 800 members and they're all, you know, just awesome people. So I think what got me into cars initially was just my love for things that are on four wheels. But what's really kept me in cars now that I own one and I can be an active member of the community, not to say that you can't be an active member without a car, but it's easier with one. What's really kept me is the people and you know the connections that you make. And you know that kind of brings me to YouTube, interestingly. When I was a freshman in high school, I started playing drums. And I was not very good, let's be honest. I was not very good. And about eight to 10 months later, I decided that I'm gonna start recording drum videos. Where's the place to post drum videos? YouTube. And I started uploading videos and I got, I started to get used to the YouTube platform and I got a couple views. I mean, they're drum videos. They're not like the most popular videos in the world on the internet. Then again, neither are car videos, but they were pretty bad. The, I was filming them on my MacBook and it was just, you know, it, it looked like this. So as you can see, not the greatest videos. 
I slowly started to upgrade my camera gear and my sound gear and just kind of kept at it. And one day I commented on one of Doc Dam 3s videos. I forget, I actually it was something complaining about a, a underground racing twin turbo kit killing the exhaust noise on a Gallardo. And uh, we got talking, he came and looked at my channel and was like, hey, this is pretty cool. I was like, thanks. He was like, do you want to write a score for one of my videos? I said, yeah, sure. So I wrote a song, not a very good song, but I wrote a song for Dr. M3's YouTube channel. And we kind of kept in touch after that. And time rolled around and we kept talking. At this point, it was the end of my senior year in high school, and I was really getting into the film thing, along with, you know, finally getting into the car community. I pitched this idea to him for this series called Fine Tune. He was like, yeah, that sounds great. I was like, well, should I start my own channel? He said, I have this channel called Ignition Tube that I've kind of been sitting on for a little while. If you want, you can upload the series on there, and we can go from there. So we did a little cross-promotion between Dr. Embry's channel and Ignition Tube, and he supported me through the whole thing, so I'm, I'm very grateful for that, Cody. Thank you so much. So I started filming this series called Fine Tuned, and I realized that there's a much bigger community when it comes to car videos as opposed to drum videos, and I'm not knocking the musicians community, but when you're making drum videos, everybody compares you to everybody else. Oh, your video's worse than this person. Come check out this person's video. And the car community's like, hey, this is pretty cool because no one else has filmed this car before. That's awesome. And even when you do film the same car, like David's filmed Andy's SQ5, I've filmed Andy's SQ5, we've made totally different videos and you can tell that. And so, I don't know, I just, I really like the, the community and that's what's kept me in YouTube as well is, you know, the people that comment and are like, hey, that was a good video. That, that really, you know, that, hit, that hits home. It, it means a lot. And so... I started making the fine tune series and then during the school year I would go to school and obviously I couldn't film fine tuned because I didn't have a car community up here. After three summers of doing fine tuned with nothing during the winter, I kind of was like, hey, maybe I should try something new, try something during the fall. And at this point I had met some awesome people, uh, David Patterson, Evan Shanks, TJ Hunt, and of course Doc M3. And they were all like, you should try vlogging. Like, why not? What can you lose? So, I went ahead and I filmed that first vlog a couple weeks ago, and now here we are. So I wanted to say thank you so much for the support on the first three vlogs and now this one. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm looking for suggestions for what to talk about in the future. So if there's some sort of topic that you want me to cover, leave a comment down below and let me know. That would be awesome. My camera decided to die. So I'm gonna wrap this up on my GoPro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have suggestions for future videos, make sure to leave them down in the comments. That'd be awesome. I'm really looking for ideas. So if you guys have any cool ideas, definitely let me know. Besides that, I hope you enjoyed this kind of random video. Make sure to subscribe and let me know how I did. Take it easy, guys. We'll see you next time.